we have to stop that there because we could do this all day long. Otherwise, we just keep going and keep going. Hello, welcome to a smooth uh, version here of Anderson's TV. I'm Pete. I'm Sam. Yes, we've got Sam back. We've got Sam back. Amazing. <laughs> Always you. a pleasure to have you here. Uh, <coughs> welcome to 2019. Wow. Dude, can you believe it? It's 2019 in the calendar of calendars. And the years of years. <laughs> We're in the future now. Yeah, and we've done about uh, 567 videos already, and it's the uh, the 17th of uh, January now. <laughs> Productive. <laughs> and we're about to go to Nam, and this is uh, this is all new stuff, right? So oh. every year, Nam show, new stuff, new guitars, new pedals, just like raining down upon us. <laughs> Plebs of musical, whatever you call it. I don't know, what do you call it? Musicians. People that have got a se severe case of gas mm. and cannot uh, help themselves will buy all the new stuff. And we're looking at some new Chavelle guitars here. Um, not sure how much they've changed. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's always, you know, you... you You've seen these for the last couple of years, uh, uh, San Dimas and the SoCal guitars. Um, I'm so lucky to own one myself, and uh, they are great guitars. Yeah, sure. Great. They really are really cool. Um, so the one I have here is the uh, San Dimas, and um, you can that how I kind of tell is that it's got no scratch plate on it. Okay. <laughs> and it's got some different pickups anyway. We get to that in a minute. Okay. Uh, satin, burgundy mist. Wow. I say, Mr. Burgundy, you seem to have a massive erection. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, do you have seen that film, Anchorman? Yes, yeah. Where she says, oh, Mr. Burgundy, you seem to have a massive erection. <laughs> and uh, even though I don't look like it, actually this guitar gives me a massive erection. <laughs> 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 okay, so so this to, so again two different. Got, you got the uh, SoCal one uh, HHFRE. Uh, this is also an HHFRE. Mm -hmm. HH is Hamburg. Yeah. Right. It's all very you know logical. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think FL is then? FR, sorry. Floyd Rose. Oh, it is. I passed the test. <laughs> passed the test. <laughs> so let's uh, quickly go through the specs. Um, older body, ebony fretboard. Super lightning fast speed neck, maple neck, um, black hardware, Floyd Rose 1000 system. Mm -hmm. The difference between these two is the pickups and uh, the one I have here has got the JB in the bridge and a 59 in the neck. So they're, they're different in the pickups. So the configuration goes, well, let's give you some tones anyway when we are here. So I'm plugged into a uh, Friedman Dirty Shirley which is nothing that I normally plug into, but you know, I like it and it's a good amp. Um, and it sounds like this on the neck. That's a clean tone that Rob Chapman would be proud to call a clean tone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm running it into the orange cab 2x12. Um, Do some great amps, don't they? Yeah, that's great, isn't that's it? That's huge. Yeah. And the reverb is just a TC uh, electronic Hoff mini one that just goes straight in the front. It does have an effects loop, but I like everything in the front. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What do you prefer? Uh, it just depends how I feel front and back. Front and back. It depends uh, on what kind of day it is. Yeah. Okay. Is it a Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday? Is it, a, is it an effects loop day? Who knows? <laughs> uh, <laughs> So that's the neck pickup, which we know, you know, and it's a... Nice. So it can do bluesy stuff. Yeah, you know, and sounds great. You know, there's a reason why John Mayer's got one of these as well, mm -hmm. you know, because it's just a g cool guitar to play yeah, uh, blues on. Uh, middle position, uh, actually, let's go to the... To the to the neck, uh, to the bridge first and see what happens. I 
that's a clean, that's a clean tone. We put the Dane on top of that with a bit of a drive. I can't do those. I like the thing about the Floyd Rose that sometimes can drive me a little bit crazy is this, flut the flutter. You get that, blah, 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 so yeah, depending yeah. on how you attack it. So now let's go back into the middle position because that's where it starts getting interesting, isn't it? Because this has got a split as well. Mm -hmm. So it's got a coil split. So if I go in the front and I split it, this is before. So you get the, So you get that sort yeah, of yeah. Uh, thing, and, and again, if you go down in the in the bridge, um, and it's split, so not split. So almost like. A kind of a funky kind of tone there. And now in the middle position, that's when it gets interesting, because if you're in the middle, it's these two here. Mm -hmm. um, so it splits the pickups into the two middle uh, pickups, boom. It's such a radical different sound from yeah, that yeah. to... And if you then pull it, it's these two mm -hmm. outer coils. That's, there's so many tones in this guitar. Yeah, right? and what I like about it as well is quite simple. Like it's a classic. It's very player, simple. But, but that's what you want when you're playing. Yeah. Is all those sounds, but it's not like you have to there's no switches and no. any gizmos, you know, you just straight to it. Absolutely. I mean, if, if there's one thing I'll, I would say is that I think some of the ones that we saw last year had a five-way five switch. Uh, and okay. when you were switching, you, it would go the second position would do this to the to the tone because because this ah. thing here that's the one thing i would change is that if you um if you look at this if you zoom in on that so when i'm pulling if i if i'm using the the trem arm and i'm yep. pulling that up that's very close yeah and if you had lower action then that yeah, might actually it's, touch it's it. the, the yeah right now is, it's not low but it's not high it's kind of it's really good set up Feels actually. straight out of the box straight yeah. out of the box yeah. even with the tax on still mm -hmm. so but that would be the only thing i would change about yeah. About it, you know. But yeah. I've got the same on my guitar, and I'm I'm fine with it. It's not a problem, you know. Mm -hmm. You just get used to it. Yeah. Um, so there you go. I mean, they're made in Mexico. You got the postcode on the back. You got the postcode. So it's useful. You want to send a letter or something, or fa <laughs> send a fax. <laughs> right. Send a fax. <laughs> uh, and again, you get uh, free online lessons here uh, because, as we know, um, it is Chavel and Fender. So you get the Fender Play um, for some free for your online lessons. That's why you can see it's a licensed Fender headstock here. Yes. Um, you have to have the license for that. But it looks um, great, it's straight out of the 80s almost. They're too. great guitars. Yeah, yeah. And what they keep with, they keep coming up with new colors all the time. So this yeah. one comes in the in the same purple metallic as your one. Okay. Um, with, with, with this on here uh, and in this uh, satin uh, burgundy mist. Yeah, I like that. Uh, this is great, isn't it? Yeah, very um, So anyway, so you have got the SoCal yeah, so it's, it's got the it's got a TB6 distortion in the in the bridge position, okay. mm -hmm. and you've got the SH. Is that a six N? It is. Six, yeah, it is the, a six neck. eight eight six N. A dirt a distortion. So just, they, I'll do a quick run through. Let's have to, a let's have so. a. The neck pickup and the bridge pickup. <laughs> Super cracking. 
by the way. Yeah, and that's on, I think that's the, is that the Clean Channel? It must be on. Maybe the crunchy. Yeah, it's got so much going. But, cool when I, but when you put on the uh, split. So yeah, it's versatile just from yeah. It's not hiding anything. Let's have a, let's have a listen to the middle. Uh, middle with it down. Yeah. And then with it up. It's almost like a telly, like you mentioned. It's almost like a telly style. Yeah. In that in 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 that position there, it it almost gives you that kind of. <laughs> I always find it a bit weird bending with the yeah you have with, to with compensate. Floyd, that is going back and you keep bending up as, as you're trying to keep so and the whole and then that will bend down you know but it's yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a wicked guitars man i think they're really great um and you know new colors mm -hmm. i always but you know i'm partial to a bit of purple yeah as you know a bit of deep purple i, I like i like this sort of pinkish hue to that as well so it's just, just pinkish pinkish hue, hue. what well, <laughs> i was gonna say something as well as i think sometimes people get put up put off by floyd Yes, floating bridges, but actually, I think it's all down to the user. You have to, if you're going to go for a Floyd, you, you, you should spend a bit of time and love. Yeah, and used to how to set it up and absolutely how you restring it, changes how it fits, and, and this has come out of the box and they're, they're pretty good considering the new strings. You know, you need to stretch yeah. them in and stuff, but once you get used to a Floyd, you can you can treat it just like any other guitar eventually oh. once you know it. I like them a lot. I really, really like them a lot. I must admit, um, that's why I've got one. But I think I've mine's got a fret. I've got a maple fretboard of mine, so I think maybe I should. I'm considering getting one of these, maybe. Yeah. So they are <laughs> eight, four, nine oh. uh, sterling pounds at the moment. Let's see what happens in the near future. They might be eight thousand uh, four hundred and ninety pounds in about in after them <laughs> and after the twenty ninth of March. We yeah. never know. We but never know. They might and they might be four hundred pounds yeah. after them. Who knows? Watch this space. Watch this space. Um, <laughs> really cool. I think we should probably just jam out and say uh, links are below for all of these, and please like this video. And um, I would like to actually, before we go, I need to listen to you do some of that speedy, shreddy stuff, because um, we just we just have to hear some high gain. <laughs> So it does that as well. That is very, very impressive. Thank you very much, Sam. And uh, we will see you here again on Anderson's TV. Thank you. Anything else you want to add? No, I think you said it all. Yes. See you later.